Cranston Weaver, Daniel Defoe, the writer of a famous Robinson Crusoe. Today I'm going to talk about of what of his another novel, Maul Flanders, the name of which is Maul Flanders. Maul Flanders, this is the fortunes, the story of fortunes and misfortunes of the famous Maul Flanders, who was born in Newgate and during a life of continued variety for three score years, beside her childhood, was 12 year of war, five times a wife, whereof once to her own brother, 12 year a thief, eight year a transported felon in Virginia, at last grew rich, lived honest, and died a penitent. Ritter from her own memorandums. Mole Flander is born to a mother who has been convicted of a felony and who is transported to America soon after her birth. As an infant, Mole lives on public charity under the care of a kind widow who teaches her manners and needlework she grows into a beautiful teenager and is seduced at an early age. Abandoned by her first lover, she is compelled to marry his younger brother. He dies after a few years and she marries a draper who soon flees the country. As a fugitive from the law, she marries yet again and moves to America, only to find out that her husband is actually her half-brother. She leaves him in disgust and returns to England, where she becomes the mistress of a man whose wife has gone insane. He renounces his affair with Mole after a religious experience. Mole's next marriage offer is from a banker whose wife has been cheating on him. Mole agrees to marry him if he can obtain a divorce. And meanwhile, she travels to the country and marries a rich gentleman in Lancashire. This man turned out to be a fraud. He is as poor as she is and they part ways to seek their fortunes separately. Moles return to marry the banker, who by this time has succeeded in divorcing his wife. He dies soon after, however, and Mole is thrown back upon her own resources once again. She lives in poverty for several years and then begins stealing. She's quite talented at this new trade and soon becomes an expert thief and a local legend. Eventually, she is caught, imprisoned, and sentenced to death in prison at Newgate. She reunites, reunites with her Lancashire husband, who has been arrested. They both manage to have their sentence reduced and they are transported to the colonies where they begin a new life as a plantation owner. In America, Mole dis rediscover her brother and her son and claims the inheritance her brother has left her. Prosperous and repentant, she returns with her husband to England at the age of 70. So this is the story of Mole Flander, the, an unfortunate woman, the protagonist, the narrator of this novel, who actually goes by a number of names. He, she's the heroine. She's one of the characters. Uh, her name is Mole Flander. 
She lives a varied and exciting life, moving through an astonishing number of marriages and affairs and becoming a highly successful professional criminal before an eventual retirement and repentance. Moore Flander is the ally she adopted. Uh, Moore Flander is the alias she adopted or rather is given by criminal public. Another character, Mole's mother, a convicted felon, Mole's mother was transported to American colony soon after her daughter was born. She reappears as Mole's mother-in-law midway through the novel when Mole's travel to Virginia with the husband who turned out to be her half-brother. The nurse, another character, a widow in Colchester who takes care of the child mole from the age of three through her teenage year. The sudden death of this nurse precipitates mole's placement. Elder brother, one of the two brothers in family with which mole spends her twin teenage year, she, he falls in love with her. She becomes the mistress of this older brother under the mistaken understanding that he intends to marry her when he comes into his inheritance. Robert, the younger of two brothers, the draper, Mole's second husband, the tradesman, the plantation owner, a man who marries Mole under the deception that she has a great fortune. Together they move to Virginia where he has his plantation. Another character, the gentleman, a well-to-do man who befriends Mole and eventually makes her his mistress. His wife is mad. He keeps Mole for six years before an illness and religious experience prompt him to break off the fear. The banker, a prosperous man whom Mole agrees to marry, he divorces his unfaithful wife, Jimmy, also called James and my, my Lancashire husband. He is also one, the manly man that Mole has any real affection. My governess, Mole's landlady and midwife, Humphrey, Mole's son by the husband, who has also her brother. She meets him with an overwhelming affection on her return to America. So these are the character on um, and the story of Mole Flander by Daniel Defoe. I hope you will enjoy this. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.